I've put some of that cutlery out in my sort of one pound things. I've put a few odd bits, I've put little prices on, two pounds, that kind of thing. I've put the boxes of cutlery, that kind of thing, underneath in my crate so I can list those before I put them out. So that's to do later kind of a job. And then I've just pulled out this box, which was um, the other stuff that I got from that couple. I also got a leather suitcase, which I will show you later. But then this is the rest of the stuff that I got. I got this nice big jug. This is that um, talky pottery. It has motto wear, so it has mottos on it, which don't always make sense because it's sort of Devon. Um, this one says, "Us be always play, us be always pleased to see," meaning we're always pleased to see you in English. So that's a nice big one because I've got lots of sort of miniature things, but not much in this size. So that's nice. Um, and then there are some very delicate things in this box. So I've got to be very careful how I pull them out. The first one is this. Can you see glass birds with a little um, water dish or water bowl or whatever? Swallows. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, how does those sort of th things like that would never survive in my house, that's for sure. So I need to find somewhere safe to put that fact. Put it on there behind me for a little bit while <laughs> I sort things out. And then there was another delicate glass thing which I'm amazed could survive. And it's this one. Look at this. So it's a little dog looking up a lamppost at the cat perched at the top. How gorgeous is that? I mean, it frightens me to death. And this is why I'm glad I've got a shop and I don't have to pack this for somebody to get it delivered. But look how cute the cat is on the lamppost. Beautiful. So again, I'm gonna prop this behind so that I don't smash it getting in the box. So that was two of the delicate things. There are, I think there's some more delicates in here. Okay, so. I've got some ceramic little cats. This one's a Xyla one. And then this one's just a little, I guess, probably made in Japan type thing. Um, I said to them, I said, oh, they're not really worth anything, but I have a little girl that comes in and she loves to buy little cats. So little dog in a basket. I think I've got that one already down there somewhere. That one's cute, little cat with a ball. Um. That's say underneath Germany that says kind of cute Is that everything in there yeah oh, I've got a couple of serviettes as well what's in the next bag okay so this one is um Bezik Siamese cats curled up together two of them that's gorgeous isn't it that can go in my cabinet let's wrap that up before it gets damaged I'm so clumsy, see. That one's wrapped up. Got a tiny little jug, pottery jug. It's cute. Oh, see, I told you I'm clumsy. This one, that's the mark underneath. I'm assuming um, European. Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, something like that. What does that say? Something Zell, maybe German? I don't know. Has that sort of Portuguese Italian look to me? I've got a little rose bowl with lid. Oh, it's marked that one. I didn't notice that yesterday. Thomas Webb. Thomas Webb, it's pretty. So it's got some etching there, like a rose, and then this design around the side. For a moment. Um, a commemorative dish, this was with the cups, it just got put back in a different bowl. Um, 1887, 1837 to 1887, uh, Queen's Jubilee. A nice one, isn't it? I've got a little Mickey Mouse. So it 
It's a random selection of things. This is nice, but it's a bit damaged there. It's a lacquered box. Um, again, this is lovely. Little bear, but he's got a chipped paw there. But he's nice. Got the pewter. Lidded dish. Probably never been used. Peltro. That's pewter, isn't it? A R A. See underneath. You see that? Yeah, it looks like it's never been used. Quite, quite nice. That's in here. I'll show you that in a second. Oh, I've got this funky bit of jewelry as a pendant. Can you see what it's like? So it's copper. It's copper on the back as well. What is that underneath? I don't know if that's stone or resin. It's got, it seems to have layers to it. So I think it's probably resin or something. And um, with the copper design, it looks very 70s, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, this is a bit weird. So this is a little teapot, but it's not a teapot because it's sealed up. It's actually like a, a sugar dish and then it says mouse hole which is a place um i think cornwall isn't it mouse hole uh, glass vase nice wood vase gray blue um no maker's mark or anything on that but that's a nice thing isn't it now these are very 70s so there's this one and this one so this one's definitely an ashtray so i'm guessing this is probably an ashtray as well although it could be like a salt can it a table salt so there's those Scared of breaking things. Little glass bud vase again with the bubbles in. Can you see? Green. Needs a good clean, that one. Anybody got any tips on how to clean inside vases like that? It might not be too bad because it's not too long, but sometimes they're really long, aren't they? And then it's a job to clean them. So that's that one. And then the final thing I was going to show you were these. I don't know how I can do this because they're so delicate. Can you see those dolls? I'll try one at a time. So there's the first one. She looks a bit scared. <laughs> um, so these bits are china. And then I guess this is padded with maybe straw or something. And their dresses are all discoloured. But underneath you can see their little feet and their legs. The hair's painted on. That's the first one. This is the second one. She's got her arm out. <laughs> Attention. Very similar to the last one. There's a face. Can you see the face? Um, has she got legs? Let's have a look. She's got a very narrow dress. Yeah, so I can feel her legs in there, but it's very difficult for me to show you because this dress doesn't reach up at all. So that's that one. And finally, this one is adorable. Look at her face. I mean, she's dirty ass, but she's got these slightly angled arms. And then you, oh, you ready? Bit of nudity. She's got this bottom and you can see how her legs are attached there and this dress had little pink flowers or dots or pattern anyway um look at her gorgeous face i don't know how you'd clean that whether i'd even dare very sweet no idea value or what to do with them not got the slightest clue so they will probably go away for a little while when I'm feeling braver 
to work out what I'm going to do with them. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to get some of the easy bits it's out. It's about half past one. I've just had my lunch um, in between customers and then I'm just working my way through this stock gradually. I've had a couple of sales today so it's no disaster my daughter just bought me a cup of tea it feels cold again today even though the sun's trying to get out can you see trying to get out i just said hello quickly to jenny at the backyard she was trying to eat soil again what was she lie it's about 20 to 3 and i've had one of those days again where i'm not getting much done i'm just getting interrupted by people and things but i'm gradually working my way through that stock I've not got much listed on my website yet, but um, I've got all the stock out that I wanted to get out, I think. Uh, and it's been quite steady today. Um, I'm going to round up the vlog because it's already quite long. But while I remember the tea last night, we had, I think I did it in that Aldi, you know, when I did things I picked up at an Aldi and we picked up a kit and it was um, something like Madras chapati wraps or something. So basically... It was chapatis and then you got a um, spice mix to put on chicken or jackfruit. It said we obviously, we did chicken um, and then you did peppers and onions. And oh my God, it was so nice. I took a photo of the box, so I'll stick that in. But yeah, that was so nice. I recommend if you see it in Aldi. It was lovely. Yeah, I'm going to round up because I think the vlog's going to be quite long already with all the stuff that I had to show you. Um and it'll take a while to upload so look after yourselves uh take care stay safe give us a thumbs up and i'll see you soon